Om Today I will give you a very interesting lecture on control of mind. Mind is Atma Shakti. It is the mind only where Brahman or the Supreme Self manifests as a differentiated universe with heterogeneous objects. Mind is nothing but a collection of samskaras or impressions. It is nothing but a bundle of habits. The true nature of the mind consists in the vasanas or subtle desires. The idea of I or egoism is the seed of the tree of mind. The sprout which springs up from this seed egoism is buddhi or intellect. From the sprout the ramifying branches called sankalpas or thoughts take their origin. Mind is made up of subtle sattvic matter. According to Charandogya Upanishad, mind is formed out of the subtlest portion of food. Mind is of two kinds, namely the Ashuddha or impure mind and the Suddha or the pure mind. The former leads to bondage, with the latter helps the aspirant to attain liberation. Manolaya or temporary absorption of the mind in the object of meditation will not help you to attain liberation. Manonas or annihilation of the mind only will enable you to achieve the final emancipation or moksha. Have a no longing for objects, reduce your wants, cultivate vairagya dispassion, Vairagya thins out the mind. Do not mix much, do not talk much, do not walk much, do not eat much, do not sleep much. Control your emotion, abandon desires and vasanas, control irritability and lust, slay the impure mind through the pure mind and transcend the pure mind through meditation. Practice perfect brahmacharya, there is no half measure in the spiritual path. Never wrestle with the mind. Do not use any violent efforts in contemplation or concentration. When the mind is jumping and wandering much, make no violent effort to control the mind, but rather allow it to run along for a while and exhaust the efforts. It will take advantage of the opportunity and will jump around like an unchained monkey at first, then it will gradually become quiet and look up to you for orders. If evil thoughts enter your mind, do not use your will force in driving them. You will lose energy, you will tax your will, you will fatigue yourself. The greater the efforts you make, the more the evil thoughts will return with redoubled force. They will return much more quickly also. The thoughts will become more powerful. Be indifferent. Keep quiet. Become a silent witness of those thoughts. Do not identify yourself with them. They will vanish soon. Substitute good thoughts. Pray and sing the Lord's name. Never miss for a day your meditation. Regularity is of paramount importance. When the mind is tired, do not concentrate. Give it a little rest. Do not take heavy food at night. This will interfere with your morning meditation. Japa. Kirtan, Pratihar, Satsang, Association of the Wise, Practice of Shama, that is serenity, Dhamma, self-restraint, Yama, right conduct, Sattvika, pure food, study of scriptures, meditation, vichar, Aratmic inquiry, all these will help you to control the mind and a time eternal bliss and immortality.
Oh.